I like to lay it down and start a little fire with little twigs in the top here. I don't know if we can see. We're actually starting to get a little bit of coals down in there. Just lighten up a few small twigs. You can hear it crackling a little bit. So it's drawing air from this end, but this will be the top. Once we get it going, we're going to turn it over. So it will actually start drawing from the bottom, and uh, then we're going to get some tea going. Well, this one's starting. I just put a few little little pieces start the end of them and then just uh, feed them down that one's starting to burn this one here it's starting but slow you can see a little fire there we're just feeding a few sticks in the top Got to get it drawn a little better, but it's starting. Yeah, once we get that drawn, it'll start sucking in there a little better. We got the little chimney happening. So we're going to Get drawing a little harder. Nice little pork steak here. Gonna put that on there and cook it up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make some supper. Hopefully, we're gonna make some tea over there. starting to come up there. Them little sticks on there just so it can breathe. I like to just sear one side a little, sear the other side a little. Montreal steak spice. Oh, we'll rub that in there.
Oh yes. So we're just enjoying this, snow is going to melt, so as you can see we're out in uh, my wood patch. So just building a little fire, one block of wood will burn for a long time. If you want to get the fire going way down in the cracks at the bottom, it'll burn up slowly. You can, you don't need a grate, you can actually just set your pan on top of that uh, block once it's going. Um, and this other one with the hole in it, takes a little while to get them torch, uh, torches going. Once it starts breathing and coming up, you know, it will... Uh, there's a lot of heat coming out of that little hole, you know, it's just getting going, so. so hopefully we can have some tea while uh, we're having our steak. Thanks to all our new subscribers uh, and uh, all the old ones that have liked and shared and and commented on some of the things I do. Uh, I guess it's more a little bushcraft today. Uh, I just love being out in the bush and uh, it's not overly warm today. We we're supposed to be up in the pluses and then they changed their mind and told us no. So. Still going to be like minus three Celsius today, and I still figured it was a nice day to come out and and uh, for those of you that uh, have been following along my wood haul, my yellow beast has a belly ache. It complained a couple of times uh, the last couple trips. So we'll get into that a little further down the road. We have to take it apart and uh, do a little work on it. So maybe we'll have it running for next winter. But it is supposed to warm up the next week here. And the uh, snow is supposed to disappear pretty fast. So yeah, I'll take the, my spare skidoo. And uh, use it for a few days. Getting the fire to climb 
find the block and uh, just make some really nice little pieces. He's climbing. So, the wood hauling is kind of done for the season. And uh, any of you that have seen me in the yard working on some stuff. You see the camper that I built last summer. That's going to be going on my truck. So you can expect you can expect some road trips this summer. Things to do. I'm probably not going to do a lot of gardening this year. Just I do have some road trips planned and I do have to do a little work to my truck too. So a few little things. And uh, I am planning a, a nice road trip. Uh, two or three months long hopefully. But I think that's probably going to have to wait till next year. I want to just get, uh, get my truck all in tip top shape. Got 400,000 or just about 400,000 kilometers on it, so I don't want it to start complaining to me on the road. Oh boy, that's starting to look good. Well, the stake is just about done. No, oh, we fogged you up. We fogged you up. The tea is just about ready. You see our little our little fire is burning nicely. I just put a couple of sticks just to keep the pot up a little bit so it can breathe. But that steak is going to go on that bread right away. That is pretty much done. See, this side of the block is starting to burn out a little more. Hmm. Be a nice cup of tea. Oh yes, I got it. I have to. Oh, let's put it right there. Mm. Well, 
nothing like a steak sandwich on the fire to make two small fires. You could do it all on one. You can always put a little block up there to get your pot up higher and Mm. Spring is in the air. Gonna do more of this. Gonna cook a big meal with a big pan, cut a bigger block, get the fire going down in it. You see, I've cut about three quarters of the way down through the block so it can draw air from the bottom to help once it starts. You're cooking something up quick. See, once we get flames going coming up there, I mean, you can put your frying pan on, it'll sit right on your block of wood. You don't have to put it on a grate, you can set it right down. And, uh, Make yourself something to eat. As long as you got a chainsaw along to make some nice cracks in the block, or you can always uh, use some hay wire and just take four or five split pieces that are all the same height and put hay wire around. As long as you got a little hole in the bottom just to get started, you'll have a place to set your uh, frying pan and and cook with it. So. You know, and this this little guy here, I mean, it's just a just a rocket. I'm going to try and show you without. Again, there we got uh, the hole down the bottom, so it's breathing pretty good. And that fire is just uh, rocketing up out of there. It is hot. I'm gonna melt you here. So I'm gonna finish my my sandwich out here in the bush, enjoy it, have my cup of tea, look at the trees, the ones I wanna cut next year. <laughs> Just, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, just hanging out today. Trying something different, just uh, enjoy it. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to come along for the summer. We're gonna be making some trips, yeah. Just, uh, I enjoy cooking outside. So that's my, goes through the summer of getting out camping, fishing, and then rolling into fall when the moose hunt starts, getting out, set up camp. And last year I spent two weeks out in the bush. Just enjoyed it. Fresh air, didn't get my moose, but seen a few and enjoyed the views. So that's a little bit of just my life and uh, my videos are just a little bit of my life. Um, every day, just enjoying a little bit of life, work, work and get what you have to get done. And uh, so I'm gonna let it go for there. This is gonna be probably a Long video if it turns out, and uh, I'm going to just finish up my sandwich here, and you guys take care, be safe, and we'll catch you later.
river. Nice ride. The sun was shining earlier, but kind of disappeared, so cloudy, but we enjoy the day.